Hello, 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 ladies and gentlemen, Brock the Collector here coming back to you with another video. Today we're going to be taking a look at the new Marvel Legends Black Panther Wakanda Forever Deluxe Ironheart figure. This is a mass market release figure, meaning you can find her everywhere. She had originally just leaked out at, um, at Target, I believe it was. Somebody had found her, and you know, it, that was like in the last couple weeks of september and you know it's like rumor speculation on where this thing would be found eventually it was uncovered that she would have a october 1st street date and now we hear she's in our hands she's available in stock almost everywhere i believe and you know we're gonna be taking a look at the figure today so here's a look at her plastic free packaging this one actually looks pretty pretty fine um the only thing is that it of course it's still really like just this, this paper around the box is just don't do much to protect the figures like a lot of the times the box becoming bent I got mine from Amazon so you know they sent it to me that way but I mean still so when Riri Williams comes to you she's going to be coming without her actual backpack you know jetpacks up in there but I don't believe that she's ever going to be seen like that in the movie at least as far as I know so of course the natural thing for me to do was not take these off these just plug in very well they don't seem to come off it's a nice sturdy fit you know what i'm saying and here is your iron heart figure your first mcu iron heart figure so let's take a look here from the head down you can see there is plenty of great detailing and sculpting up in there of course this paint of red that they use it does not pop as well on camera as it does in person like i'm telling you right now and that's actually a reoccurring thing with a lot of Marvel Legends, it's a, a, especially the Iron Man, like the red does not look as good in photos and videos as it does in real life. Like in real life, this is really like, it's not too bright. You know, honestly, the figure sort of gives off an animated feel when it's so bright. And especially in some of the earlier leak shots that we were seeing, but in person, no, it actually looks good. It looks very lifelike. And the facial expression is something that we'll get to in a minute, but as you can see, just to absorb the detail here. And she got, she's decked out, bro. Like, this, this figure, this feels deluxe. This got plenty of accessories. I was just fiddling around with another deluxe figure early in the week. It was actually the Star Wars Black Series um, Dark Trooper. Nah, this girl, she, she decked out more than they, than they wish that they could be. So here's how Riri comes. To you just looking at the base figure the base offering itself before we look at all these accessories here we go um so yeah there you go look 360 got a lot of paint going on at the back of course some of it is lost here but i mean who's really going to be looking at the back of riri there is still a lot of paint detail up in here especially at the jetpack down there you can see the differentiation of silvers back here the legal garbage that they did not actually paint in. The feet, the bottom of the feet are big enough for them to put them in there, but I guess the peg hole sort of interfered. But really, this is, that's not noticeable at all. It actually looks far more noticeable on camera than it does in person. And honestly, it's just a good looking figure. So let's take a look at some of the accessories that she comes with. Actually, let me say all of the accessories that she comes with because she comes with a lot. So first, she got her two little repulsor blasts. The comic Riri that came out last year, I believe she had repulsor blast effects like these. For some reason, Riri Williams gets far longer repulsor blasts than your other heroes. Or maybe they're just making a switch to your longer repulsor blasts, as you can see here. But they're very thin and narrow compared to the previous repulsor blasts that we used to have. Hold on. These. So these came with every Iron Man. And you can see the difference there. I like the blue on this a lot more though i will say that yeah that looks good two of those she comes with she comes with these little smoke effects that you wrap around the repulsor blasts so there you go two of those as i said one for each repulsor blast she comes with even more blast effects which is something i will give this figure high praise for a plenty of blast accessories because really a very important thing to me with these figures is being able to express their actual powers and to do so, Riri comes with two forearm gauntlets, one for either side, as you can see here. One really weird vibranium-looking Jaws of Life sort of, I mean, I don't really know what Jaws of Life looks like. I don't think they look like this, but I call them Jaws of Life. They just look very firefightery weapon right here. I don't know exactly what that's for. Maybe it's a laser. Maybe it's a cannon of some sort. Who knows? Kind of reminds me of Claw's hand weapon a little bit. 
but that looks good. Plenty of paint detail on that. I mean, three colors, but still. Here is her helmeted head sculpt. One thing that I, this is just, this is a beautiful helmeted head. I love the way that they've done the blue with the white to make it look like it's glowing. This is something that they've done with the Moon Knight figures as I've seen from photos. And uh, yeah, it's just, it's gorgeous looking, man. Look at that. They did a good job on that. And we're not done yet. Of course, along with the two fish, she comes with these two repulsor hands. So yeah, plenty of accessories. So let's take a look at the figure herself. So Riri here, as you can see, as we come down, her jetpacks have this sort of, you know, this netted material. This figure actually, you know what this is reminding me of? This is reminding me of the Iron Patriot figure from Endgame Wave 3. That is the vibe that this figure is giving off, which is not bad at all. I really love the Iron Patriot figure, but this sort of feels like that. This is a very bulky-esque design. Um, but of course this is Riri, it's probably like her second armor. I believe we've seen the prototypes or the concept art for her first armor in the film. And yeah, this is going to be like her second look. I believe that she'll be wearing this for most of the movie, including the final battle. And then of course we'll be seeing plenty of Riri next year with her own TV series. But at currently withstanding, I mean, I like this. This looks really good coming around. Of course, pinless everything. This, compares, this is a completely new sculpt. One thing I can give this figure a lot of praise for is the the head sculpt right there. You can see this is probably the most detail that they put into any hair. Into a because I mean usually the hair doesn't get too much detail up in there, too much doesn't get that much paint different differentiation. But this is a lot of detail that they put into this hair, like the sculpting. They sculpted the cornrows. They even did some separate waves in between them. And yeah, no, that looks good. Oh my gosh, they even got her edges. Wow, you can see that sculpted detail in there. Wow, that is amazing. Of course, one thing I'll always praise Hasbro for, the sculpting. Mar Marvel Legends more specifically, like they do new sculpts a lot, quite a bit. I mean, I know that people complain about reuse, but the Marvel Legends line has the most amount of figures of any Hasbro six inch line, I believe. So you're gonna be seeing that reuse, but when it's a new sculpt, you know, they, they go all out on it. This is beautiful. Take a look at that. Coming through all the way down there. Sort of reminds me of a car. It's very, it's stylized, but it is live action looking. This does look like something that a teenager would make. Yeah, that's cool though. Again, very firefighter looking a little bit. I don't know. It just looks sort of weird. I've heard people say it looks like a ghetto Power Ranger. I think that that's a bit much to say. I think, I mean, I think it looks good. I think it looks like a good suit. Um, Very bulky though. You can tell that she's probably, uh, her legs probably only come down to about there because look at how small her head is in that suit. One thing, oh, articulation is great. I mean, like, take a look at this range right here. This is actually something that I'll talk about with the Shuri figure, but the range on these elbows is fantastic. Take a look at that. That's pretty good. Range on the knees back here. Not, this is a very stiff, but there you go. Does not kick her own booty, but honestly, that goes a lot farther than I thought that it would for for a figure that of an armor that is so incredibly bulky. Her feet don't really have an ankle pivot, but you can see here, they you can twist these things and you can bring this whole foot section forward. So it almost behaves similarly. Oh, excuse me. It almost behaves similarly. It's a very strange design, as you can see there. But just looking at her figure itself, it looks good. So let's get some accessories on this girl and let's start comparing her with some other figures. The helmet we'll see is really inspired from another figure. But as you can see here, there's one thing I will say. Something weird is going on with Hasbro um, and their double ball peg. So their neck hinges, of course, the neck hinges is usually like, it's the most like known sort of neck articulation among the Marvel Legends line. But recently... One innovation that they've made along with the pinless and stuff like that is they've actually made double ball pegs. I remember in 2020 they started it. The first figure I remember is the first figures I remember it being on is like the Black Widow wave. They had the double ball peg and it wasn't great back then, but they've gotten really, really good at doing it. But with this wave, uh, a lot of figures in this wave and especially this deluxe figure in general, they don't seem to have those. Like I'm about to build my Atuma. I have all the pieces here, but as you can see, they have the neck hinge. As we talk about some other figures in the wave later on, they have the neck hinge. And there's some other figures 
that I'll discuss later soon that also have neck hinges. And it's just, it's strange to me how they're pivoting away from, how they're like coming back to the neck hinge for some reason. I don't know why they're doing that, but they got to stop it, man. Double ball pegs all the way. Uh, hopefully this is just something that gets stopped into its tracks pretty soon. I don't know why they're using the neck hinge, but I'm telling you, the, the lack of head tilt, mm-mm. Mm -mm, it's not doing it for me, man. So bring that note to the bring that neck tilt back. I mean, I'm one of those people. I know that there are some people who like the neck hinge, but at least if you're going to do a new sculpt, come on now. The neck hinge is just mm -mm, not always super duper. I don't like it personally. I like the ball, double ball peg so much better. But here's to look at your Riri Williams figure with some accessories on her. Let me pop in these hind blast accessories real quick just so that you can get the full effect of that i really love these jetpacks oh i put that in upside down there you go so you can sort of see the blast effect there this looks really cool i like this oh that helmeted head though it's just so fire so let's take a look at her with some other figures so first and foremost probably something that you guys really want to see her compared to a figure that I just had lying around, the original rescue figure from Avengers Endgame Wave 3 back in 2019. So as you can see here, there's a little bit of context as far as your scaling goes. Rescue is not a small figure in her own right, but still, compared next to this Ironheart, the legs are really long. It's not, it's not a proportional body build, but it's fun nonetheless. Here's a look at a body with some great proportions. Here we have Kukan. The Black Panther right there. So as you can see, she is taller than an irregular sized Marvel Legends. Let's have her looking at him eye to eye. There you go. You can see that she does stand taller and it's really just in the legs. Look at how, how much higher those legs come up. But overall, his torso is bigger and everything of the such. So yeah, she's a, she's a tall figure right there. Yeah, I, I like that. Another figure we can take a look at. Let's take a look at her with some Wakanda Forever figures, I guess. Here is her with, really the only one I can get down at the moment. Here's her with Shuri. Shuri is the only figure in the Wakanda Forever wave with a double ball peg neck. And I'll definitely be making a point of that on Friday when I talk about this wave. But there she is with that. So there are those two costume designs together really 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 cool yeah i like that a lot and of course with ironheart like the detail on the sculpting you can see it even as you go in it pops them up so much better here you can see how she has her own heart right there that looks painted on but best believe this is sculpted in on that chest that looks good i like like the matte black that they use yeah yeah man this design it is growing on me man the articulation is not the best but honestly i don't feel like she's able to move that much in this armor anyways so there's that. Let's do Ironheart's Mark II armor, I think that this is, next to Iron Man's. This is sort of the Mark II. I mean, I, it's the Mark III, but this is a Mark II is going to be on the same body anyways. So these come about to the same height. And Iron Man's first armor was quite bulky anyway, so that makes sense, as you can see there. So that stacks up. She's a bit shorter than him Um, there. They sort of look like the same height on camera, but she does stand... A teensy bit shorter than Iron Man. So yeah, there you go. Let's try to get the head swapped so that you can see Riri standing next to Iron Man. Boom. A pairing that we'll probably not get to see, but here is Tony Stark next to Riri Williams. Super duper cool looking. So all in all, final thoughts on Riri Williams' Ironheart figure. Um. I'm going to start with the negative first. The articulation is not fantastic. It looks beautiful, but the articulation is lacking, and I'll tell you why. There's so much armor, so much cool stuff going on here that, you know, the articulation on the shoulders, you're not going to get much out of them shoulders at all. If you move the arms back, you'll start to be pushing off these large hind cannons. So unless you want to display her without those, the articulation is going to be limited. The legs, you can't get too much up on them hips. That won't, you know, that won't line up super duper well for you. 
The feet don't have your very standard articulation for Marvel Legends. As you can see, these are very long feet and they come in two different parts. So you have the hinge here and you have the rotation there. The one thing that really does bug me about the articulation is the lack of the double ball peg. You can't get enough tilt and stuff like that. And for a character like Riri, who I feel like has a lot of attitude, that's um, that's something you're going to be missing out on. Hopefully it's something we see on next evolutions of, you know, this whole costume and figures for this costume. But down to the positive, I don't care about that stuff too much because this figure is dope, man. It's a It's a new movie character in a big bulky armor i can already tell that Ree williams is going to be a fun addition to our universe um and i i really just i think i'm gonna like her i think i'm gonna like her seeing the even the glimpse that we saw from that trailer i mean she's like it's like us like don't y'all want to be in an iron man suit like can you imagine being a kid sort of like my age i'm pretty sure that she's my age in this in this drawing and flying around in this iron man suit just kicking bottoms wherever you go in this kick-ass costume you know what i'm saying like come on now that's something that everybody wants so i can tell she is going to be a fun character i cannot wait for her show and i can't wait to see this costume evolution progress because i'm sure that when that show comes out next year we'll see her in a more you know skinny more streamlined suit but as for now i'm digging this bulkiness man so i'm gonna be messing around with this figure because i think that it's cool it's a cool figure it's something you know, you have your, in the MCU, it doesn't, it, I mean, I guess she's nothing particularly too new. You got your Iron Men, your Iron Patriots, your uh, War Machines, your Rescues, your Hydra Stompers, your Iron Mongers, your, you know, just so many different Iron Men, your Hulk Busters, your Ultrons. You got plenty of different robotic looking people in humanoid costumes, but to get something like this, it's kind of old, but in a new way you know what i'm saying so i'm excited to be messing around with this figure tell me what do y'all think about riri williams are y'all gonna be waiting to see the movie to pick up riri williams Ironheart figure tell me do y'all already have it what do you think about it and we'll be talking about the rest of the wakanda forever wave on friday i gotta get my atuma built and we can be discussing them but that's not going to be the next video this week i actually got a surprise coming for y'all on wednesday y'all y'all know what it is by tomorrow though y'all will see so we got a video coming on Wednesday, so stay tuned for that. Click that notification bell. I'm going to give the Riri Williams Ironheart figure, just based off of his look alone, look how cool that looks. I'm going to give it, skill on one to 10, I'll, I'll give her an 8. You know what? I'd give it a 9, but let me just get the rest of the wave seen real quick. Um, 8.5. Yeah, 8.5 is good for Riri Williams Ironheart. Love the detail on this. Just that articulation is not going to satisfy absolutely everyone. So, yeah, take a look at that. But thank you guys so much for watching. Stay safe out there and I'll be sure to catch you guys all on the next one. Later.